for the rugged. The style, the untamed, and the wild. For the trades, the trees, the mountains, and the free. Reimagined. Re-engineered. Reborn. When it comes to supporting our returning warfighters, there are a number of ways to do it. One of the most fun is a round of sporting clays. Well, country superstar Tim Montana certainly knows it, and the format for his American Thread Charity Shotgun Shoot is a proven winner. The name comes from one of Tim's songs about hard work and strong values, the American thread that holds us all together. Claybirds are not all that's flying at the Nashville Gun Club on the banks of the Cumberland River. With 30 teams of shooters on the ground and ready to go, the flag shows up special delivery carried by a former special operator with over 3,000 jumps behind him. And the flag is particularly important here because this is a day of shooting and fellowship that benefits Special Ops Excursions, a nationwide program which helps elite military operators relax and readjust after they come home from a war zone by taking them, their team members, and their families on hunting and fishing trips, all expenses paid. <laughs> Country music star Tim Montana is the name out front on this shoot, and he says he's proud to help provide those elite troops with a way to decompress after spending days or months in harm's way. We take these active duty operators out in the field to hunt and fish, and I've been there personally and seen what that means to those guys to come out of combat and get to go and, and hunt, you know, and fish. And it's really, I think, soothing to them and, and helps them after they get out of the war zones. Everything's taken care of. There's no, no worrying about where you're gonna go to eat, you know, how you're gonna get to where you're gonna go to hunt. It's, you show up, you don't need a gun, you don't need equipment, they, they provide everything. This year, the shoot is on the way to raising well over a quarter of a million dollars to help get those veterans into the outdoors and help them readjust to life back home. Being around people like this, these these type of Americans remind you that like it's worth doing, it's worth being dedicated to that community. We just all believe in the cause of giving back to our active duty and veteran troops and trying to help them through whatever troubles they could be having. On the field, over 175 shooters are breaking birds and sharing a good time, including me, shooting for event sponsor Centurion Stone. Oh. Hey. All right. You showed up at the right time, Chris. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Sponsors and supporters set up all kinds of stuff to look at on the way into the course. Just like last year, there's a silent auction of everything from autographs to ARs, even a rifle and pistol set with a special guitar-shaped case. After all, this is Music City. And also like last year, someone is going home with a Black Lab puppy which comes with a champion pedigree and four months of training by our friend Langdon Stanley from Adventure Retrievers. It's people that actually are really, really passionate about giving back. And I know how important it is for me to take my son hunting, for do, do, my, do, do things with my son. So if I can provide just a little bit of give back to let a military family enjoy that same thing through Scott and Special Op Excursions, <laughs> what else is there to do? Last year's auction pup went for more than $5,000, and her owner says she's happy to pay that much for a good cause and great training. That was the coolest experience I could have had in my entire lifetime, working with Langdon, seeing him work, uh, seeing what he does and what he's about. He's just as much involved and just as much in love with this whole uh, event and cause that I am too. And to work with him was, I mean, once in a lifetime. Two helicopters are on display from the Army's legendary Night Stalkers, stationed nearby at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. You can be sure they've been flown to some places the pilots can't talk about. Back home, there's something to be inspired by. The soldiers are flying it. It's so cool. I really want to be like an airplane girl. I want to fly an airplane when I grow up. 
Shooting USA is brought to you by Hornady Security and the new ammo cabinet. Keep your ammunition secure and organized and free up room in your gun safe with the modular ammo cabinet by Hornady Security. There is some serious shooting at the American Thread Sporting Clays event, but the most important outcome is not on the leaderboard. At this match, whether you're military or civilian, expert or beginner, the most important thing is supporting our troops and their families. It's amazing, or maybe it's not, just how many individuals and businesses are ready to help with this big event. We got big brands out here from Color Burst, Black Rifle, Raven Crossbows, Glocks out here this year, Black Rifle, like I said, Traeger, I mean, just tons of folks. All the brands I work with come out and support us. Dead pair. Country singer Tyler Farr is one of several shooters representing Nashville's music industry and not taking the competition too seriously. I'm not here to try to win it, because A, I'm not going to, and B, uh, it's just to have fun. And uh, to help the cause and raise some money for some uh, people fighting a good fight. If you can, hold that gun in your shoulder, but lean forward at the waist. Okay. So you're putting your weight against the gun. You don't have to be an expert shot to find a place in this match. Katie Miller works for shoot sponsor Colorburst Landscapes, and she'd never even held a shotgun before today. I was just happy I haven't fallen over yet. That was my goal, to not fall over when I shot one. It's a learning experience and a great day on the range because Katie and the entire Color Burst team are helping make a difference. The founder, Scott Graves, is a good friend of ours. Uh, we wanted to give back to his foundation and it's a great way to support our active duty military. In addition to special ops excursions, the American Thread Shoot always has a secondary benefiting charity. This year, it's the Memorial Three Gun Foundation, which provides funding and vacation trips for Gold Star families who've lost someone in combat. All we're trying to do is just help these families throughout the year, ensuring that they're never forgotten, that their sacrifices are still appreciated by this country. Family and brotherhood are words you keep hearing here. Lifelong connections built through shared experience. It's the camaraderie and the breakfast and the bond and you know, really making you know friendships the last of, I've got guys here that I, I hunted with 15 years ago. They call me and like, are you coming to the shoot? You're coming to the shoot. You know, and it's really special. And being a civilian is the toughest part because these guys literally lay down their lives so I can go kill some ducks. And it's a complete different type of behavior than when you come home and deal and, and assume your role as a husband or, and a father. Um, so it provided an outlet to go hang out with your buddies, the same ones that we were overseas with, but in a civil environment you're not getting shot at. You're, you're out there trying to enjoy yourself and hunt. And uh, it's really hard for me to explain, but it, it was very welcoming and uh, always left you wanting to come back for more. Coming back for more this year and in the future, helping combat veterans transition back to a peaceful environment and breaking some birds along the way. Good times. Shooting for a good cause? always good times. It's a well-known fact that spending time on the range is a great way to make new friends, and at this event, letting these returning warfighters know they are home is something you cannot put a price tag on. 